Hello everyone, King Wither here. Let's open up the world. So about today, not sure how long we're going to make it. I am starting a bit later in the day. Somebody might come in here and talk, but you know, if I go silent, that's why. I'm going to be just, you know, if something interrupts me, I'm just going to flip it. <laughs> flip the microphone up so that there's no audio for me, but I'll still keep playing. Um, we'll just sit. I think we're going to have to just be, do this little ritual where we spin in a circle and just render everything so we don't have to worry about lag being crazy anymore. I've noticed that's what happens at the beginning of videos. Anyway, so maybe an hour, maybe less, but we're going to still try and get through something today. Yeah, we're still trying to build, I think. Let's see what we inspiration to work on today actually. I want to save the tavern and some of this for last. Yeah. We'll figure out um, here. Maybe? Yeah, I think that's where we'll, we'll be. We'll start the wood, uh, everything for the, <laughs> why am I thinking like wood hunter? The, the woodsmith? <laughs> the lumberjack? There you go. <laughs> what a weird set of words that was. Um, yeah. We're going to want to plant a couple over here, too, just so we can cut them. Cut them down. So, we'll plant these, I'll cut them down, I'll put the logs somewhere. Uh, let's grab our usual set of stuff. We're going to maybe try something new. I don't know. Maybe, maybe a camp. A camp would be more fun. Yeah, I'll try that. And we'll give him a tent and stuff, make him more of an, a woodsman or outdoorsman kind of thing. Okay. Um, that means need a lot of wood. Probably just the usual stuff anyway. <laughs> I remember when that happened. That was not a fun time. That was not Good, we have some extra trapdoors. Don't have many of those. Just make a bunch. Then we'll take those over. Is my volume okay? Sorry, volume test. There you go, it's kind of loud. That'll work for now. The real volume test is a creeper exploding in the face. But the doors open. Those are always loud. Yeah, no. A little bit more quiet. All right, lumberjack house idea. If we're gonna make a log pile, we gotta gotta rearrange a little bit of this. We're gonna have it be a part of the um, sawmill. It's like a far probably. Just a little continuation. Probably shrink down the sawmill too, just a tad. Oops. Something like that. Yeah. That's feeling a bit better. Yeah, and then this can be more places where put up logs and such. Alright, cool. This will be his living space, but I think we're gonna, we're gonna go crazy with the logs. It's like twos, twos and threes, I think. That's what we'll do. Give him a, a little, uh, little fort on his own kind of thing. 
Uh, I don't know how, if we want a stagger. I guess that's a thing to figure out, right? He has a little, a little fort. We gotta figure out where the entrance is gonna be. How did I? Oh, I just went diagonal, didn't I? Looks like a decent spot for an entrance. I'm giving him a little fort. <laughs> A little log encampment out here. Something little fun. Looks like we're gonna have to chop chop this whole thing too. Right, let's get some rest first. I don't know, I might end up hating it, but you know. See how it goes. It's entirely possible. Yeah, you know, I could have just made fake free condoms, but I guess it's too late for that now. Oh, creeper. Yeah, we're gonna actually clear out this proper this entire thing. Since I kind of messed up my idea for that, that's okay. They're all kind of low, low trees anyway. Dang, they're all way too close together. Shoot. It's my fault. Yeah, we're gonna have to reseed this whole thing anyway. I'm a dummy. These are fine. Yeah, these are fine because they're not touching. These are fine, not touching. Fine, fine, fine. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. I thought that was going to be worse. Uh, I will deal with this issue. First. Cool. Go a couple more. We'll see where that goes first. Maybe go a little too crazy. Uh, it's because it's uh, they're surviving because they're attached. Should break them off. That looks like about right. Then we can always uh, keep the the wood chops. Yeah, you know, that's something I never thought of. How Probably buttons. You know, buttons are always uh, misused. I mean, under underutilized. Okay. Do I keep a shears with me? No, I do not. I gotta grab some shears so I can get some uh, spruce spruce leaves. I'm gonna build a felled tree. Probably grab an item frame and some. Iron axe or something on the way. What you got? Any of them? Cool. That works for me. And then an uh, item frame for it. We have a. Uh, some item frames go. Yeah, two. Sure. Hey, uh. Um, yeah, they split wood logs on, on the ground, or, you know, another stump, you know. So maybe we make a wider stump of some sort, I don't know. We'll find out. Pile will go here, and entrance is over here. And maybe a wild path through here, just like a little tiny path. 
leads into his little fort. Little reclusive. Must be, you know, with the fort entrance right here. I think he I think he'd be a little reclusive. Just hanging out here in the wilderness. Okay. Sounds more like a farm. Okay, let's get this finished up. However he wants to do it. the thing about forts It'd be a little strange. Is that an entrance? Close. Uh, probably move it over one. Something like that. There we go. a single entrance. I kind of wanted it wider, but you know, it works. How's it look? It's great. It's his little, uh, <laughs> his little enclosure, I guess. Now, the question is, how heavily do we want to detail it? Because I think strip logs look kind of interesting, right? Should we make them all strip or apart? I don't know, maybe. That's a good question. Let's say we strip it a little. Uh, I don't know about this, guys. Uh, inners? The inners only? The thing is, like, I hate strip spruce because it looks green. Yeah, since I hate it, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> it looks green and nasty. The thing, oh, I know what we're going to do. Easy peasy. Uh, where are my... Did we use all of the spruce fences? That doesn't make sense to me. Making sure my headphones are down. I've forgotten that enough. Yeah, our steak is refilled, probably by now. Sweet. Extra steak. Yeah, I thought we had, I thought we had some. Yeah, we did, we just didn't grab it. We're gonna use it all, probably, accidentally. And then I should, you know, while I'm here, I'll grab a, I'll make him a table out of a pressure plate today, instead of, other things. You know, I think I think I've only made this table. I don't think I've made another table. And that is a problem. Nobody has a table. <laughs> I guess we haven't built a uh, a residential yet. A residential house. So we've been doing utilities. Huh, I didn't think about that. Anyway, betweens, probably something just like that, just for quick detail. Perfect. Did I make this accidentally symmetrical? Nah, I didn't. Good. I don't want it to be symmetrical, but I think I did this way. I don't know, man. It's kind of a wobble. All right, I gotta, I gotta bridge up to see the, uh, the shape that I ended up with. I'm not planning. You know, I never plan. I mean, yeah, it's like, it's a leaning. Leaning's alright. Don't mind. Cool, so his house is sort of ready. I can always do detailing later. Do we throw... Throw some, uh, some of this going on on the inside? Yeah. A little uh really fortified but hey can always change it up nice looks all right 
even though it's not symmetrical, it looks decent. And it looks like an actual fort on the inside. Like we want to replace these. Something like that. Do they make this whole thing a wooden floor? I mean, I guess it would make sense. I want to get this done first before I decide. Give them the first wooden floor of all of them. Yeah, I mean, if we can texture it somehow. Uh, probably put holes in the ground again, like like with the other guy. Just get some of those go in. Not in the same exact plane, right? I want that going on. Uh, sure. <laughs> then the rest we can uh, fill in, I'm thinking. Yeah, let's give them a proper uh, little port. That's what. He can do it because he's a lumberjack. Man of the wild. <laughs> so, I'll give it to him. The thing is, I don't know how. <sighs> yeah, we can detail later. That's that's the whole thing. We can always detail later. I say we get the basics, and then if we want to give him a floor plan, we can. I did not bring my uh, lanterns. It's a problem. It's okay. Yeah, how's that? Kind of decent, huh? Uh, the same for for that. We're just gonna go trap doors, half slabs. I'm thinking, but from the outside. The Audis can be. <laughs> That's what I'll call them anyway. Audis and stuff can be that. Trapdoors and such. Diagonals where it matters. And the rest will be trapdoor. <laughs> uh, is this a double though? something there. I don't know. We'll figure out something about this corner. I think we can make it into uh, like a lookout station for him or something. I don't know. Something like that. Anyway, we'll see. It's fun using your imagination just to help you build. It's like, oh, you know, maybe, maybe he has something going on over here. I don't know. Give him a. Uh, no, I was think. I think I was thinking the opposite. I don't know. Something like that. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. He has a little post or something. But oh, three. Well, I guess that solves our problem for us, don't it? <laughs> ah. Yeah, that was inventive. Thanks, Mr. Creeper, for making the decision for me. <laughs> yeah, I guess we're going to do something in this little corner. I'll remake it for him. Probably not a pawn. Unless. I feel like this corner is kind of jacked up in the first place. But, you know. Gives us another opportunity to look at it. I mean, hey, that's symmetrical. <laughs> is this the new the new gateway? Sure. We'll give it to him this way. 
Uh, same as fire. Fire. Yeah. See? Look at that. Progress. Now it's a little gate. <sighs> but the real trick is figuring out how to turn it into a door the proper way. Got a uh, still his planks. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's decent enough, right? Uh, doors on top, maybe? Yeah. I mean, hey. It's a good enough gate, I guess. Not really a closing mechanism. Uh, let's just make a door, because you know I've I've seen uh, diagonal doors, kind of like you know, like that. Uh, uh, I'm trying to remember how to do it though. I don't freaking remember. I don't know. I forget. It's kind of not my expertise doors start falling into <laughs> sure uh, I, don't know. I honestly it's like tickling my brain I think the problem is that I have this here but you know, it's like something like that I'm trying to get that right though I think it's uh, facing the other way from the inside Yes, like this, but the real problem is you gotta do it like this. Yeah. But ideally, you know, you want this facing the other way. So the trick is tricking it to be like this. There we go. Now we've got our little thing. And then you just cap it. Man, I haven't done that in a long time, huh? Like a, and then you just do something like that. Yeah. yeah. Ta -da! I haven't done that in a long time. And then it folds open, see, to cover. So it, it looks decent, pretty much, anyways, no matter what. Oops. Uh, it's just harder to close it from the inside this one. But hey, diagonal doorways. It's kind of a thing. Yeah. One more. Yeah. That's a proper fort. The thing is, now it looks lame on the inside if you're not careful about it. But I mean, you can always do something like that. The fun thing is, pressure plates can still open it, especially from the inside. Look at that. Uh, might be a little bit of a design issue, but at least you can do that, right? Maybe not so much leaving. <laughs> Yay. I guess that defeats the whole purpose of a, you know, a hermit. Anyway, yeah, if <laughs> if somebody finds that interesting for a design, go for it. <laughs> I mean, hey. <laughs> I'll just leave it that way. It doesn't matter. Please get some hiccups again. I started the video with hiccups, and I was like, nope, nope, not today, please. All right. Uh, continuing. Continuing on. Yeah, it solves our issue with the, you know, the multiple diagonal thingy. 
Easy as pie. No, not pressure plates. I want trap doors. This thing's a little... You know, I don't want to make another entrance. It's fine enough for me. I could make another entrance, but I don't think that's what I want. Uh, this way or that way? Does it matter? I don't think you can really tell from outside. No, you can't. Does it open a different way? Yeah, it does. I want it to open upwards. Out. Towards this way. I think that solves our question then. Really should be making a ways up, but yes. Yeah, we just gotta um, play some from the inside, like that, so they can open up. I don't know if that's the final, but we're gonna stack them that way, and then if I open them, I open them. Not sure. Yeah, diagonals are gonna be a problem, but that's okay. Oh, that's just the the other issue. That's okay. Come on, stop placing things. Okay, so I guess we see now how it looks from the outside. The flippers up on some of the diagonals. Alright, what should it look like? It looks dumb. Let's just keep it the way it was. I don't know, I'm just kind of going off my head on all this, so... If it looks good, it looks good and we keep it. If it doesn't, we don't. It's, it's the simple build philosophy that I have. Try it out. If it don't work, do something else. Now we go nuts with buttons. Somehow. Don't know where. That seems fair enough. That seems decent enough. This corner, though, is kind of sticking out. I don't want to build another doorway. I want to do something else. Um, shoot. Um, uh, jeez. A stove? <laughs> Yeah, I think a stove is going to be our thing. We'll give him a stone stove. Yeah, a stove right in this corner. Stove. Why do I say it? Sorry. Stove. <laughs> and just a dot on everything. I'm thinking. Yeah, sure. Uh, ask go or get replaced. Perfect. Thought. Ooh, that's gonna get ugly too. Um. Eh. I just won't think about it. We don't have to look at it. It's not a problem anymore, right? Get two here. Perfect. Hey, it's not too shabby. We still need to get them, uh, you know, furnishings and stuff. <laughs> Give them a little tent in here. <laughs> or like a little covering, I don't know. I think a little tent would be funny. He has a, a, a wooden barricade around his house, but not a, not a proper house. With a roof. Well, maybe he doesn't want a roof. We'll give him a, a little uh, shade structure or something. Uh, I don't know. I gotta rack my brain for it a little bit. Let's see. Lean to? I don't think we want a lean to. I mean, it could be. Uh, we would want this covered. We give him this uh, little internal space it has a you know, thing I don't know really I think he I think that's great uh, the problem is 
because it's kind of large. Okay, sorry, I'm going to do a lot of staring at this one specific spot and be building things in my head. I've got like three or four ideas. Okay, let's fix this issue first. This is part of what's bothering me. Uh, that makes it a lot more simple because this is just a straight rectangle now. Uh, yeah, we just do something. Build another set of walls or whatever. Give them a little uh, overhang. Perfect. Yeah, right here. We'll just keep. That's what we'll do with this funky corner. Uh, just increase the overhang, just a tad, just like that. Over, over, up, over, uh, probably lower. Something like that, 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 is that good? Yeah, it's looking good to me. It's not even, but it's looking good. Uh, what did I do wrong? This thing. That looks fine to me. <laughs> Give him a little extra. That looks a little strange. Work drop it, I guess. Cool. Then you kind of just, uh, you know, build your supports. Uh, she's half slab. <laughs> this is where vertical slabs are a thing. But little chimney. Sorry if I'm going like dummy fast, but uh, when I have an idea, I have an idea. So unfortunately, I think you're just going to have to deal. I hate saying that, but you know, we got to do it. Uh, pump it up. Give them a proper, proper chimney. Uh, uh, how much can we break this? Can we turn it into a half? Into a? I guess we can find out. Sorry, I'm just. This is all new for me too. I'm just. I'm digging it. I'm liking this little idea. Uh, yeah. Can we? Can we like? Yeah, that fits. Nicely. Good. Here, Does this go. Yeah, I mean, hey, the the better we can uh blend this guy in, the better. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the better the better we can blend it and make it not look weird. It's gonna be great. whole thing is about not looking weird. I think that's a half slab. Yes. I don't think... You know, I'm, I'm conflicted about that, but, you know, I think it's... it looks great. What am I kidding? I think the, I think the problem is the accessibility on the inside is going to be a little bit of a thing, but... It's not bad, it's too tall. Too tall is great. As for the rest of the half slabs... Uh... That's not big enough. He's gotta, he's gotta get something bigger. More stairs? Stairs open up, uh, open up, uh, volume. So... Did I just put that here? I don't, I don't know what I just did. This is good, right? 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 Uh, something like that. Then, uh, you do your, uh, build. 
between two. Cover up your mistakes. <laughs> Nobody will ever know. There we go. <laughs> can I can I get rid of this now? I can. <laughs> uh, let's give him uh, another dump, like right there, and then a uh, cap, trapdoor cap or half cap. Yes, we will see. I like the idea of it being a half. So it looks more intentional. Yeah, looking good. So it's got a little uh little thing going on. The thing is I want this roof. I don't know if those are uh stairs. I think they are. This thing right here says stair. I guess you can find out you middle click it and it'll tell you what it is. It's stairs. Uh, this is where the, uh, you know, I think we're gonna just forget that. Put a campfire in there. <laughs> or uh, do the trick. I think we're gonna do the trick. We'll still give him a stone. Uh, we'll give him a stone furnace, but. We also want smoke to come out of it, so that's where you just stack up, stack a, what's it called, campfire. Do I? I don't know. If I do, just make one, I guess, real quick. Campfire, if I have one, I do. Uh, we also need item that is not in here. There you go. I don't know why you were there. Cool. Uh, this will be the uh, bed. Just grab a free wool. I swear, I don't think I've moved the wool yet. So this might be a waste of time again. Yep. Ah, he doesn't need a bed. Maybe another one of these dudes. With a button as a pillow. Just because he chooses to. <laughs> but he does have a furnace. So he ain't gonna rough it that way. <laughs> we all know somebody like that. <laughs> it's always that one dude. He's like, yeah, I'm just gonna... Bring my like gas powered grill <laughs> out camping. <laughs> yeah, you know, I've set up a fort and I can I can afford to put in a you know, one of these one of these guys. And all you do is like cap it. Like that. Ta da It's got a little enclosed uh, furnace. I guess his bed would be nearby, right? Something like that. Cross. And then we gotta move this then. Just literally move it over one, maybe. Something over here. Like that. And then uh, that can be his pillow location. Yes, the pillow. Puts his feet on it right there. Do these open? <laughs> well, that solves that problem. He can make a little little sunshade if he so chooses. That's funny. Yeah. Give him a little tucked uh, bed roll in here somewhere. Just give it to him there. Uh -oh. Maybe he likes to sleep under the stars on nights where it's not crazy. Yeah, that seems good. That seems good to me. That's his pillow. <laughs> oh boy. I think there's a way to 
just make a, a better bump. But uh, what's it look like with this placed on underneath it? Ah, that's good. That's good. That's good. There you go. That's his pillow. Just because. Can I put something in there? What happens if I put a button inside the button frame? You can't really see it, can you? Uh, I don't know. i I'm. That's one thing I've always wanted to experiment with, like stuff like this. You know, it's like, what? That's cursed. But like, you know, there's so many interesting things you can do. Uh, let's just give him a full block. That's a pillow, ain't it? Yeah, I can't really think of anything else that would look better. Maybe, uh... That looks soft. Doesn't look right, but it's soft. Alright. Yeah, we'll do what we did before. Or, ooh. Ooh. Um, maybe, maybe the, sorry. I don't think I can item frame on that, though. I can, and that looks very odd. I... Okay, I'm just experimenting now because this is kind of strange. <laughs> mm, Z clipping, my favorite. Uh, let's give him a. Man, now I'm just like really like thinking this through. And then this pressure plate. That looks real weird. I'm not gonna lie. I actually prefer that, I think. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of a thing. I think we're better off just doing the original button. The good old button. And then maybe the... Maybe the item frame on that, just for a fun. Yeah, whatever. That's fine enough. We don't have to think about it too hard. Lanterns. Keep forgetting to bring this dude some lanterns. Cool. Anyway, that's uh, that's decent enough for now. We can just... Whatever. Uh, he's got himself a little toilet in the corner, I think. Sure. Uh, a little, um, storage placements, I think. Nice. Oh, can't stack it, but. Yeah, whatever. Let's, uh, let's combine the bottoms. I mean, it's a little house, right? That's what he's got. Another barrel over here somewhere. Sure. Yeah. We'll leave him a. Uh, probably one of these just because they're in the middle. Nope. Uh, here. It's kind of stick out, though, you know? Maybe up against the wall. Yeah, that's better. Hey, now he's got a nice little, like, central living space, uh, does it look like? We can cut these four. Give him a, I don't know. That's ugly. Uh, how about just almost? Oh, fine. Sure. Uh, I don't know, I kind of want to spread the design out a little, which is a problem. When, when it... Seems like you want to. You know, we can always give him a. Let's see what this looks like first. A little pit. No. I don't like that. Let's um, fix that right away. 
and just refill the floors. Probably give me some carpet at some point. I don't know. I don't know. I just you know, give the floor some freckles. That's what I call it. <laughs> give the floor some freckles. Sometimes you can make things look good like that. Just make it look like there's a texture. Oh. Nice. That's, that's pretty much it. Give him a, his axe hanging up. Okay. Literally hanging. Put it upside down. Oh, that looks good sideways. I don't know. That works. Yeah, he's furnished. As much as he needs to be. It's a little lumberjack. Woodsman. House done. How long did it take? 45 whole minutes for this little teeny build. <laughs> well, that's part of the problem with um, experimenting. Oh, hiccups, man. Can't put buttons on those. Pressure plates look alright. Uh, they're a bit too small. I almost want to put more, um, more trap doors, but I don't think a double. I don't think a double will look good. I mean, from the outside, you can't tell unless you jump. What do I know? You can't tell, so you might as well. It's another. It's another. Uh, saying you guys can get from me. I'm so please. Can't tell, might as well. On some things. Because if you're going to go through the extra detail on some extra, you know, random thing. Eh, I don't know. Does that look good now? <sighs> no, not really. But hey, this is cozy. This would be a really nice, like, a starter. Starter location, you know. I wouldn't mind having this be a, you know, you start the game, you wake up, it's like, what's going on? There's forest everywhere. You have this little thing to return to. Uh, the only thing I have to do is come back with a um, lantern or two. One on here and then, I don't know, somewhere here. I don't know. Let's go grab the lanterns. But hey, we did another build. We can get some honey now. Get a real quick achievement while we're at it. Completely unrelated. I actually don't know how many it takes. It's probably a good question. Uh, I swear, I had another, um, I had another crafting table. Why not? Oh. So, let me... Anyway. I think you need don't remember. I think it is mine. Yeah, honey. Hold me. Ah, four. Means we should probably set up another honey. Honey, uh. What am I, t what am I saying? Another, uh. Beehive. A fourth one. Up on top somewhere. Like behind it. <laughs> I don't know. Or two. Like in fronts, you know. It's, it's a possibility. Just makes it harder for the bees to fly in, I, I guess. I don't know. That's not really a problem. Those are shears that we were gonna use. Um. Maybe. Let's see how badly that looks, though. You know, something like that. We have two more up front. I don't think they can fly in anymore, can they? I mean, from the sides. I just, I hate when bees get stuck. It's so annoying. Whatever. We'll try it. If it don't work, it don't work. I wonder if they could even pop in from the sides. 
that is an unknown for me. Then I'll be putting a more here. More campfires in the future. Don't need to give them that. Okay. Nope. Shears. Eh, we're gonna use the shears. Cool. Well, that's, that's the bee farm, I guess. So. Add some color to it. I don't know. And I'll just, you know, replace the stone entirely. It's a possibility. Yeah. Since we're here. Yeah, that's not bad either. Kind of looks strange. Eh, you know. Let's uh, compress. I'm trying desperately not to kill the bees on accident. That is annoying. Alright, yeah, compress. Yeah, see, it's, it's nice. You know, something like that. <laughs> and then we just, uh, snip, snip. Ah, uh, it's gonna be annoying to go get them, but. Cool. And now we can make our uh, two more beehives. Easy as pie. Look at that. The only problem is that uh, gotta get like some more pieces of coal. But we will be back very soon. That looks a little better, I think. Uh, lanterns, two pieces of coal. So, boom. All the lanterns. And two campfires. Awesome. I'm liking this episode already. I'm going to try. Uh, remember, if somebody comes in, I'm just flicking off the, uh, the audio. But... You guys know what I'm doing. I'm gonna work on finishing the um, the sawmill and such. I, don't, I have no idea what to do. Like the only sawmill I'm like really familiar with is like Skyrim sawmills, where it goes like up and down. But I think we're gonna do um, stone cutters and stuff along the central thing. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. <sighs> <sighs> Guess I shouldn't be recording later at night, huh? Sleepy. Anyway, the aim, the goal is to get this worked on, I guess. It's looking good. I think maybe we want porches out front. These sort of sort of guys. Sort of thing. I don't know how far we want to extend his uh, you know, porch, but something like that. Fix that problem. Sort of. Yeah, we don't have to worry about it. Not our problem. Let's give him a busted uh, doorway. <laughs> yeah, flip it. Yeah, that's better. A little roughed up. Nice. Uh, you. 
And how about you? Nope, can't do that. Ah, uh, you. That's good enough, right? Sevens, sevens all around. Nines, tens, nines, elevens, twelves. Blah blah blah. Yeah, nothing can spawn in here. It's looking mighty fine, actually. It's a decent looking house. That looks sketch from the top, but, um, you know. What happens if we, uh, we double, double down, make it a double thick? Sure. Yeah, whatever. Might as well, right? Double down on, <laughs> make it a too thick wall. It only makes it weird from the top. Sure. Hey. That's fine, I think. Yeah, what a nice little, uh, nice little thing. I enjoy it. Oh, bad. It looks, it looks dumb from the top, but I think we can manage. <laughs> Light proof. Just hope there's no uh, creepers coming out. Cause that's what we gotta worry about. It's kind of weird looking from here. Kind of want to double. Go out on the side. Yeah. Get a little bit ahead of here. Like this one right here goes about. That, I'm thinking. Just like the uh, the front. Go make it a uh, layered. Yeah, see. Ta da! Yeah, that's good to me. <laughs> it's a little, like, teeny tiny fort. Casual spider crossings. Uh, nice. Uh, that's good enough. Give him a felled tree back here. More of these. Some of these. Uh, geez, I don't know. I think uh, maybe some of those. So what I'm thinking is like a Something, I don't know, like that. It was a big tree or something. I don't know. Yeah, really, I have no idea what I'm doing. But... Give him a little something like that. Like you cut down one of those big ones. Get out of my house. Oh, come on. You always do that. Sorry. I guess that's part of the problem with living out in the wild. <laughs> the bush area. Of, of Fort Tap. didn't turn out very well, did it? I always seem to be making those mistakes. Always me. Like a splinter of some kind, I don't know. How far can we go? I don't have a lot of logs with me. I feel like he's worked on it long enough, right? Got a decent amount. Shop then. Maybe I can uh, place a few here and there. With uh, 
planks and stuff. Make it look like he's been chopping it or found it broken. I don't know, it doesn't look very good, sorry. Just kinda how how this sort of stuff evolves. We'll, we'll get it figured out decently. I don't know. This is just what I thought in my brain. This is what I thought would look good. I don't know, I'm still on the fence about this whole thing, but, um, I mean, hey, it looks like he's been working on this for a while, right? Looks like a fallen log of some kind. I don't know, it's not bad. It's not good either, but, you know, it's, it's limited. It's creativity and creativity counts for something. Okay. Get a couple more buttons. Maybe a little closer. Yeah, I mean, hey. Looks like he chopped a, a big old tree down. Or just has a bunch of random lumber, just not organized. Sawmill. I think we're gonna have to adapt this. We're gonna toss it over. This, I think. Okay, then. I'm actually gonna make a full outline. So from here. It's gonna be a little different. But, you know, that's the beauty of building, what you think. Yeah, a sawmill should should even be smaller than that. I can see how it's hurting my eyes. My brightness down. Yeah, something. Something like that. There's some movement out there. Just a flower. I swear. Yeah, some. And then uh, another pie or something. Or just uh, put in the classic. That looks alright. Uh, let me get some leaves. This guy's not particularly well. Let's take that. Out. Sure hope I have some. Yes, I do. Then uh, just scatter out some leaves around here too. I mean, hey, that looks decent. Top it off. But... Yeah. Looks good ish. Yeah, sure. <laughs> That's not bad. Plus, it adds another little bit of a wall. I have zero clue how to make a a sawmill. You know, do we do like a five second research? So 
time to Google old fashioned sawmills. So, you know, usually they put them by water. Because, you know, move the saw up and down with the water. Do not have. Okay, I'm actually looking at it now. There's a painting of one. Yeah, they usually like put it by the river so they can float the logs down. There are there are manual ones. But mostly on rivers, I suppose. Yeah. You could probably do it with um you know, horse powered. Have horses walk around and saw up and down, but you know, definitely the most popular was, or at least one of the best ones. Are thing is, I don't see where they load the logs or how. It's a good thing to know. I'm just gonna watch a YouTube video. <laughs> While I'm, while I'm uh, doing this, sorry, a little bit of AFK time, but old time millin, what do they do? Do they lift the logs? Uh, they got a machine lifting it. But how do they, it's not old time milling, that's, okay, if you can store old time like 19 something. I'm talking about like 1800s. Yeah, no, that's that's not it. Yeah, how did they lift it? Did they just have like a old old sawmill pictures that that will do? Yeah, they got horses and stuff lifting and stacking. Yeah, who knew we were gonna get a history lesson here? Yeah, it looks like they just lifted it by hand or with um, horses pulling it. Yeah. Bushmen and sawmill hands want to join the 24th Canadian Forestry Battalion. Learning. Am I in a safe location? Yeah, I'm fine. The skeleton will shoot me. That's the thing. I don't know how they lifted the logs from the ground onto the sawmill. That's definitely a good question. There's some sawmills on the ground and they just run it through. Yeah, I, I, it just basically is going to look like a barn with a big saw mechanism in the inside. Sure. Yeah, you don't even have to lift it. You just uh, you attach some ropes to it and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, the, the problem is the mechanism that, turn, that uh, gets the saw moving. You could just have a a, a lumber yard. Now yeah, we're learning about history. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, kind of a lumber yard is gonna be better than a sawmill, but I think we'll say we give it a try. Maybe make a combination of the two. Um, yeah, so they pull something like this way. Makes a little V shaped shoot. I think uh, we chop some of these down again. Make a couple more. Make it look like a bigger forest was cut down. I don't know. I want the, I want the break. The creature's probably going to come get me. Nope. 
thought so. He's right over there. Long distance creeper hunting. Oh, he's hiding. This guy's stress me out. Okay. Yeah, I say we just uh, because like that does not convey a tree is cut down. You know. <laughs> I want to try something dumb. Uh, I think you guys know what I'm doing. <laughs> Not quite. Doesn't quite look like it. It got chopped. I don't know. I say we return to that at some other point. You know, make it look like it's a a bunch of trees that got chopped. I don't know. Add some more chips around the ground around here. It looked like it was chopped recently. Maybe a few bushes here and there. Yeah, I mean, that that does look like a forest got chopped. Uh, I'd want to put, like, you know, some grasses and stuff, but hey, that's decent enough. Solve that issue. Other issue is what you're going to do. Let's go get some sawmill stuff. Like the uh, stone cutters. I want three again. So nine stone. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight. Some more spruce logs. Some reason we're out because you know every building has to be made out of saw. I mean, out of spruce for some reason. Uh, let me grab some cobble just just to have like two stacks. Actually, let's dump some stuff off. Here. We don't need a lot of this. All right. Uh, oh. Did I? We take a run to the old house too, because I think I was collecting rails at some point, long, long time ago. Yeah, let's let's run back to the old house. Are stable. <laughs> uh, hold on. Yeah. Ouch. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Pretty sure in the basement we've got, um, pretty sure. And we haven't been here in a long time, have we? Um, do we have anything that I. Uh, ha. that's what we need for. Just a sec. Everybody knows the the trick for the um you know getting the using the uh, 
minecart rails as tie downs for the uh just come on. Move. Of course. Oh, it's the angle. Dunk. Tie on horse. I think. Okay. Nice. Well, let's get building our final thing and then we can take our snapshot for it. I think uh do start. <laughs> you know, after it goes through the sawmill. You know, that can be to take the branches off, right? Uh, yeah, sure. That yeah, works for me. Uh, we gotta chop this boy down. Yeah, I think that's the best way. Because, you know, like, this sawmill, just for, you know, stripping the branches off trees, I guess. Turns it into flat logs, and then the flat logs get taken to the, uh, the people who want to split them, or work with them, I guess. So he's just a, a tree cutter, not a tree processor. It's not a problem, we can always, uh, you know, we'll do that, we'll have him be the tree processor and then it'll, uh, we'll have it get pulled by horse down this road to the dock and then float it out by boat to whoever wants it, I guess. That's one way to do it. Yeah, if it makes sense, you don't have to worry too bad about it. So, what, how tall is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ish. Seven, eight, one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. That looks decently long enough to get away with fives. Fives look fine to me. Maybe we'll mix and match. Something like that. Ooh, yeah. Back a little. I want I don't wanna go in with that. Slap the tie downs on it in the centers. I don't want that to be a thing, but no, let's just do that. Extend. Yeah, that's better. Just tie it down one more over. Decent. And then they just hook it on a cart, skedaddle it down here, shove it down a chute or something, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Kind of a decent idea. Uh, looks like we're going to have to do a triple, I think. Or just scooch it. Yeah, I think a scooch is going to be the, the solution here. Yeah. Right. I'll put it on. It's annoying. I don't like doing that. Just add a few chips. Little bumps on the wood. Or it looks like we cut it off, right? It's decent. So, 
another chip on the ground here. Like over there. Eyes. And then some sort of sawmill here. I'll shrink it down. Let's take a sleep first. Sorry if you guys can't hear me. <laughs> I'm talking a little quieter. You're almost done. So close. Feel it. <laughs> yeah, framing. Thing is the center. This is really a curious thing, because I've never really built a sawmill before. Nor have I like really looked into it all that hard. I assume the floor is made out of at least wood. Oh, here on the outside. Like stone maybe on the inside? Give it a more industrial sort of deal? I have no idea. I have a, a complete loss for this sort of thing. Probably want the sawdust to, to escape. chips around this area. Not quite. Uh, I do want it covered. <sighs> yeah, this really is a conundrum. Having never <laughs> been in a sawmill. Guess, you know, gotta do some sideways, right? From the ground? No clue. <sighs> well, let's the orientation of it right away first. Is two enough? Can I put it on a half slab? channel for it, right? Yeah, it just goes right through. Saws off the... Yeah, it goes straight down in a block. Saws it off. Right. Brilliant. That's our, uh, contraption. This, uh, cobble, though. Sorry, I'm just thinking in my brain right now.
some sort of a outward. safeties on it. Uh, I don't know. That looks fine enough. Yeah, I think that's going to just be it. Ooh. It like gets pushed off. Whatever, crash it. It flips up over. <laughs> I don't know. It looks complex, that's all that matters, right? Uh, having never seen one before, I feel like I did okay, acceptable. I want more like buttons and stuff to make it look dirty, but I think we come back with Mossy. Mossy later. I'm gonna build the edge in a bit. Yeah, that connection is not a not ideal, but it's, it is what it is. It's going to be like that. It never is easy. Never, never once. That's all I was planning on doing. Just a, honestly, just a quick top here. It's not going to be anything super special. Just a thing. Same deal. Usually, good bet. Copy the same thing. Yes, I know it's up by one. It's meant to be that way. It's for the big entrance, and they come out small. That's my rationale for it, at least. slaps then. What did I do here? Oh. Yeah, it wouldn't be awful, would it? Ugh. It doesn't quite fit in there though. We're even standing on it. Oh. Yeah, you know. 
in my head. <laughs> That's what it would look like to me. Yeah. I mean, it, it's passable. Sure is a thing. This is weird, though. When do you connect? Oh, these are the uh, spots where the stairs go instead, right? Something like that. Yeah, I mean, hey, that, that doesn't look too bad. Looks decent, actually. Extend the base. Sleep in the sawmill. Toss some lights up in here somewhere. Uh, uh, here. Sure. Actually, see the ten nines, nines, nines on the insides. Uh, I don't care to check the roof, but might as well. Right. Oh my, parkour sex. Let's do this. Noit. We're gonna try three more times. Noit. It's one. <laughs> it's two. A parkour and let's line up. Line up the show up. Yeah, oh, perfect. Last time, last time's charm. Okay, seven. That's fine enough. That'll work. Hmm. Those are half slabs. Those won't spot anything, will they? Those ones might, but hey. Oh, does that line up perfect? It does. <laughs> Just a ring of light. That's like the last thing a tree sees as it goes through. And so people would chop it down, slog it over here, shove it in. Yeah, cool. That one's good enough for me. I just want to decorate this out a little further though. The cobble, but I think this is good. Yeah. It's because I want to put uh, chips on the cobble. Sorry, I do notice that they're turned in a specific way. Sometimes. Yeah. Cool. Well, I'd say that's a success. Another building done. Or set of buildings. Our little uh, woodsmith guy. Alright, let's give him his uh, inaugural. Entrance, but we want to also fill out the road to this location a little bit. Yeah, sure. And then they stage it. So nice, love it. Uh, Dragging here and here and there. Sure. Makes sense to me. Sort of pathway. The only this dude takes every so often.
Sorry. I always push the wrong button. Sorry, it's hard to make um, gently worn paths without, you know, without going nuts on it. Kind of hard. So, say we leave it alone. See what becomes of it. See if that's good enough. Probably. I don't know if this is going to get any grass. A little tip to his house. Like that. Well, his house is technically, you know, that. Well, I'd say that's a success. People don't go up that way. Hey, all right, um, let's dump off some junk, get some bone meal so we can decorate it up, and then we're done. Very, very successful episode today. Oh, and check the maps. That sounds like a plan. All right, dump, 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 dump. Dump, 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 whatever, we'll put that in there, dump, 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 Did I put my horse away? I thought I heard a guardian, which is absurd. I think it's just in the house. Picture time. Half time. Didn't do anything here, just in case. Didn't do anything here. Didn't do anything here. A little bit. <laughs> Let's see part of the. Let's see what it looks like. Nice. Yeah. I dig it. Looks decent. It's all coming together. I love it so much. All right, so that's three buildings down technically. I think I counted those towards our build. Count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What? We we're like two, three episodes away from 50, I think. Yeah, 30 days. I'm trying to line it up. I'm trying my best. Alright. That's good enough for today. Take a quick snapshot since we haven't done that in a teeny bit. Uh, let's go uh, bone meal it up. We gotta bone meal the road anyway. Got a little 
or the forest. Oh, make this forest scary. I don't know while we're at it. Try not to be scary, but. in the general area around his uh <laughs> his abode and the outsides yeah I'll, I'll leave it tall but interior not so much That's nice. I like that. Where is the best place to take a picture for it? Probably up in the air, honestly. But I love this whole thing. Uh, let's see how much of it we can get. Axe. That's fine. One, two, three. Jeez. I get the spins. Okay, I get the spins. Put between the uh, which I like that was that was already good. Let's get one from here though. One, two, three chips. Yes. Alright, uh, I will get editing on that right away actually. Editing the thumbnail at least. I didn't realize that this part of the road was not taken care of in terms of yeah, cover. That has been remedied. <laughs> I don't think this really changed. Map, but okay. yeah, that's looking great. I love this little town that we built. So much fun every day. Do a little bit here and there. Let's take an overview shot. Actually, I don't think that would have changed anything. Maybe a little darkened up some of the roadways. I don't know. Yeah, it did a little. It's looking good. Looking good. Yeah. Perfect. Great, because I think it's this one that's. Oh. Hey, that looks good too. Let's take another one just in case. Centered. Boom. I love this. This is probably one of the coolest things I've ever built. With all you guys. Appreciate it. Feels like an actual, you know, long term build now. Some of these houses don't really. Whoa. That's very strange. Yeah, look at that. Little guy's house. Campfire going. It's got the logs, the sawmill. Looks great. I think I'm gonna make the the tavern two stories. The block houses are everywhere, but hey, at least this guy's was a little different, right? Same with Tia, the brickmaker's house. Yeah, that tree's kind of blocking the view. We chop it. What's our time actually? If we're anywhere close to yeah, 145. Yeah, let's chop it and then come back. And then we're done. 
We'll say goodbye from the top of the tower. We gotta chop them before the mobs catch us. Zombie be gone. Um. Ah, that's what I'm missing. Oh, we're gonna use it. <laughs> we'll say goodbye from the top, I think. Break our trash. See, look at that. How's that look? I like that. Where did we go further back, though? That tower, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> nice. I just took a snapshot of that. That looks kind of cool. Oh, I love. Love it, love it, love it. This whole place is starting to come together. The Endermen are all like, what the heck? This is so different. Yeah. I would love to add more smoke smokestacks. Smokestacks look great. We'll definitely have one coming out of here. Definitely out of down there. Fun. Maybe we'll figure out a place to put something in the fort for smoke to come out of, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, thanks everybody for joining me on this adventure again. I feel like we're really putting something together. Oh, there it is right there. Right in the distance. How's that look for a snapshot? Looks pretty good. But I think I'll take the one that was over there before. It's so tempting though. Fine, I'll take a picture. I'll decide. All right. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Uh, I appreciate you. And almost to 25 subscribers now. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Uh, the dude's on the wall again. That's not good. But, you know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, enough delays. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.